Hi everybody, uh, welcome back. Today uh, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to cook a uh, corn chowder recipe that's very healthy, balanced in uh, macronutrients. I'll work it up on the uh, Excel spreadsheet at the end of the menu. I'll post the spreadsheet with all the ingredients, uh, how much of each and uh, what the macronutrient uh, ratios are and what you can eat with it to make it a total complete meal. Okay, what you're going to need is uh, some Greek yogurt. 0% uh, uh, milk fat, two cans of uh, organic uh, whole kernel corn, one can of organic cut green beans. You're gonna need, this is some uh, turkey breast, fat free, this is organic milk, some salt, pepper, garlic, thyme, one large onion, and a head of cauliflower, and you'll need a nonstick skillet and a Dutch oven also. And also, you'll need a blender. Okay. Oh, uh, another ingredient I forgot to tell you you're going to need is uh, this vegetable protein. Doesn't that be this brand with this uh, TV, TVP vegetable protein? Okay, and you're going to need one cup of that vegetable protein. Okay. So we're back, and I just want to show you I've got. Uh, you come in a little closer. This is uh, I'm gonna post all the all the amounts. This is the green green beans. I think this is three ounces, four ounces of chopped, you know, chopped the cauliflower, two cups of uh, corn, and this is that one whole onion chopped up, and this is four ounces of the turkey breast. And what I'm gonna do with the turkey breast? I'm gonna put it in with a little garlic, no seasoning. I mean, no uh, no oil. A little salt and pepper. Salt and pepper on both sides. Just let that cook over medium high heat. And in here, I've got the tablespoon and a half of uh, olive oil, about a tablespoon of garlic, and about a teaspoon of thyme. And that's good and hot. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in the cauliflower. And the onions, we're going to let this saute. Set up good. that saute over medium to medium high heat. You know what a lid is for that thing? It's a combo. Okay. Then we'll just cook the turkey till it's done. And by the way, I weighed everything out on my digital scale so I know precisely what I'm dealing with. Okay? Alright, so we'll just let this cook. Okay, so the, uh, the onions and uh, cauliflower have been simmering for about, uh, have been um, sautéing for about 20 minutes. So what we're going to do now is add two cups of milk. Stir that up. We'll bring that to a boil, and let that. Once we bring it to the boil, gets to a boil, we'll let that simmer for about uh, uh, 10 or 15 minutes. And in the meantime, I've cooked the uh, the turkey. Okay. So what you need to do, what you can do in the meantime, we're going to cut that up into just bite-sized pieces because this is going into the blender. Now this this recipe, you know, this is from corn, so it's got a lot of uh, fructose in it, but it also has a lot of the the, uh, the fibrous portion of the corn, as well as all this protein 
and some of the fiber from the green beans will even out the, uh, the absorption of that sugar to where you don't get that big uh, insulin spike. So overall, and the, and the fiber from the, the cauliflower also. So all together, it, it just makes for an even insulin spike in your blood and you're getting the protein, carbohydrates, and fats in a, in a balanced uh, ratio. So it's a very healthy meal, it is kind of sweet. And like with all the recipes I'm gonna show you, this makes, I believe, uh, six cups but you can multiply these. I mean, you can make a huge batch of this stuff and freeze a large portion and, uh, you know, have it last for a very long time. Just like with the stew recipe and the uh, black bean soup. You can just multiply the ingredients and just make huge batches because they're made in these Dutch ovens. So anyway, okay, we'll let, the, we'll let this uh, come to a boil and simmer and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay, while we're, we're still waiting on this, uh, we brought it to a boil and we're letting it simmer now. And we've chopped up the meat. And now we're gonna take that one cup of vegetable protein and you're gonna put it in a blender and you're gonna pulverize it. Get it to a powder. Okay, and then uh, just transfer it back to that cup. All right, this has been simmering. Get a little stir. Now what you want to do is transfer this to another container. What you want to do is just dip out a cup and get a lot of those solids out. Okay? Then kind of pour it through a strainer, strain the liquid out. and transfer those solids to another container. Okay, good. Now you're going to take your blender. You're going to transfer all this to the blender. Now, we're going to add all but about a half a cup of the corn. So this is about one and a half cups of corn. back to the pot. Try to get out as much as you can. Okay, now you're going to add that half cup of corn. solids back. Stir that up. I'm going to bring this back to the boil. Okay, you're going to add the green beans.
Okay, then you're going to take this vegetable protein and whisk it in. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. You're going to whisk in that vegetable protein. You're going to put in your other cup of milk. Okay, then uh, you're going to add your 8 ounces of the Greek yogurt. It's going to be popping. Reduce that heat a little hot. And we'll whisk it in. Basically, just let that uh, simmer for about 20 minutes. And then... Okay, how we're back is uh, the, finish, the finished product has been simmering now. This is it. Nice and uh, looks, looks good to me. And uh, let's taste it for the taste test. Mm. I like it. I hope you like it too. And again, uh, I'll post the. Uh, the ingredients and the macronutrient ratios and what you can eat it with to make it a completely balanced uh, balanced meal so try it i hope you like it